Meanwhile, it's been four days since Archbishop Savio Han Tai Fai publicly addressed the community regarding the serious allegations of sexual abuse against Archbishop Anthony Aperon. And despite an open call to meet with the alleged victims, no such meeting has taken place yet. We sat down with Archbishop Han, who explains more. It's been about two months since Archbishop Savio Han Tai Fai was appointed Apostolic Administrator of the Archdiocese of Aganya, and although some have bemoaned that progress is slow moving, Archbishop Han has made some significant changes within the church. The first thing is I have to reach my priests, all of them, uh, and also the religious, and also the, the lay leaders, uh, whenever possible, uh, even they are of other opinions. The first thing is I have to reach my priests, all of them, uh, and also the religious, and also the, the lay leaders, uh, whenever possible, uh, even they are of other opinions <laughs> of the archdiocese, no problem, I'm here, just wanted to listen to create a climate of serenity in which we may talk, we may communicate, mm -hmm. and to avoid misunderstanding or undue communications, mm -hmm. that is uh, my purpose. Some of the changes Archbishop Han has made include replacing and appointing new church leaders such as a vicar general, a chancellor, a sex abuse response coordinator, a spokesperson, as well as ad hoc committees to examine weaknesses within the archdiocese. He also retracted some statements, some orders, and even cleared some church leaders' names, in particular Father Paul Goffigan and Monsignor James Benaventi. Then, at a press conference last week, Archbishop Hahn stated that he would like to meet with the four plaintiffs of a slander and libel lawsuit filed against the church. The four plaintiffs have also lodged sexual abuse allegations against Archbishop Anthony Aperon, but have stated that they had never met with any church official. Have you met with any of them yet? Uh, si as, uh, ever since the press conference, no, I had no chance yet. No chance in the sense that uh, I welcome them, of course, mm -hmm. and I try to make myself available. This is for sure. Although Archbishop Han has not yet personally met with any of the alleged victims, he says he's taking all their allegations very seriously. He also says that he welcomes all the criticism from the community, whether good or bad. I think the church uh, today has to be very open to any criticism, I mean, from, from anybody, okay? Because uh, they may be good for us to rethink, uh, to reflect, uh, and how to re improve our, our services to the people. So first of all, I welcome, I wouldn't say that you give me high criticism, so you are bad. No, I, would not, I wouldn't uh, do that. Archbishop Han emphasizes that he has an open-door policy and is willing to make the time to meet with any member of the Catholic Church to address any issues they may have.